Oh, and the ankle on that one. That was... Dude. Loaded you up there, dude. The rotation was dialed, though. Coming off an Achilles tendon injury. Summer X Games, August 2nd, I did this. And I really haven't rode a bike until two days ago. Uh, like, really no riding since then. So six months off the bike and straight into <coughs> the foam pit. It's hard impact. But with the, with the ramp now, I'm just trying to get re, obviously get my timing back and push through the front flip. And I'm just kind of a little off on the timing, kind of, it's a little rusty and stuff. And my knuckles are bleeding from hitting the brake levers and clutch levers in the foam pit when you land. And the issue I have too is the impact. My ankle is just super tender. So I'm just trying to like baby step into it and just kind of keep picking away at it. <laughs> nice. B's right in the middle of an expression session. He's I out here just goofy. I looked at the video and it's <laughs> vibrating with the bass. It's like shit. And he up. <laughs> oh, dude, what a jam. Dude, you're not done. <laughs> yeah. What time is it? Money o'clock, dude! <laughs> I came from the mud There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon Got into the pit, and uh, you know, Kyle spun some more fronties, and Robert got a got a decade around, and Borchers flipped, and yeah, everything's looking good. Morgan did a couple more of his body burial, and then uh, Quinn just had like a really sick bag session, got another cool uh, body burial out of the way, and then uh, just started having fun, man, and uh, got probably my sickest upright combo known to date: single <laughs> flicker to double grab. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, no, it was, it was pretty epic. Like, pretty much today was probably the first day that all the riders were all sessioning in the foam pit and into the, then the sled guys to the airbag. So it, it was really cool. I got to have my, pretty much come back after my ankle injury, do some funnies in the foam pit, and it's all coming together. So a couple more days of this before we head on the road. We're like knuckle buddies now. Knuckle buddies. Here's a better than mine. I cleaned mine up. Push them out, push them out, yeah. so I can see. <laughs> Mine's bitch. Do some blood. <laughs> you gotta have content and you gotta post on the daily. You gotta keep the followers happy because this is the shit they wanna see. Right there. I have to ask the viewers, what do they wanna see? The viewers wanna see what we do behind the scenes. <laughs> Something that we don't share. We don't share our tricks because it's gotta be top secret. And, um,. Basically, everyone only sees the media side of what we do, but they don't actually see like the struggles and all the hard work that goes in behind it. What about you guys? What do you guys want to see? 
Comment, subscribe, like. Comment, share. subscribe, <laughs> like, share. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. We got it all, man. Just, just hit those buttons and start getting, getting it. <laughs> subscribe, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pornhub, fucking all the shit. Tinder, MySpace. <laughs> Tinder, MySpace uh, Christian Mingle. Christian Mingle, <laughs> fucking. Only.com. Tinder, you name it, man. We're here. This is it. Behind the scenes, action sports. We're here at Camp Beach. This is where all the boys get all ready. They go throw down on the big stage. You know what I'm saying? No, So come on. Hashtag, fucking comment, like. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. <laughs> Come on, come over here. See what we got here. This is Robert Haslam, straight out of USA, Seattle, Washington. We're dealing with a decade bar setup here. He's gonna spin it completely around the bars. Get back to the seat right away. Ching ching. Metals in the metals in the air. Um, come over here. Ching ching. Brandy Cormier. This is his little beast. He. Uh, Recently just got the invite to X Games. He came in as an alternate, but put all the hard work in. A couple riders dropped out and here he is, fucking going to X Games for sled freestyle. Right here we got the man Turcot. Probably know who he is. He um he's got a couple medals. Um whatever. This is his snow bike. He's gonna do some tricks on that. We got Kyle DeMello's snow bike right over here. And we got fucking shitty Nick. Got Borch's sled, man. You want to hear about Borch's sled? All right, so we got ankle braces, we got knee pads, we got flip levers, cheetah factor racing handlebars to make him do all his bar tricks. We got grabs. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Come over here, get in here. Get in here. I already seen that. Get in, get in here, get in here. A fucking six plus tall dude is hanging off. Look at this shit. How do you even. No. Don't go for that guy. Um, <laughs> you come back over here. This is a this is a four times X Games medalist on this sled. Four times. More than that. Check your facts. What would you say? Does it even matter at this point? The dude's a legend. Five times. He's a legend, is what it is. Okay, five times. Come back over here. I think it's like six or seven, dude. Three silvers, one bronze, two golds. Come over here. Turcot charges six hundred dollars for you to make a seat, and it's a lot more firm. So make sure you purchase these babies off Turcot if you ever gonna get one. Some marketing, bro. Um, don't get, don't, don't buy a gorgeous seat. Thousand dollars for something that's gonna rip your hand right off, or six hundred bucks for that baby. Borch is gonna kick your ass when he sees this. <laughs> he was literally just be like, yeah, I told the guy I'll charge him $1,000 to make him a cut seat. He didn't want to make it, but that's awesome. <laughs> I don't blame him. Why are you Overall? Yeah. Why don't you get so what do you So this is what he does. He'll fucking... The rip is tsunami flip. He'll put these down. And he does a bar trick. He'll bar hop, plug, sit his ass right, right on these fucking double barrels right here. You know what I mean? And walks away with the gold medal. I don't even know how he does it. Just like that. Um, this, there we go. Monster, man. This is what makes us go big. Couldn't do it without this sponsorship, man. Monster. It's all it gives me. It gives me all the power to fucking go big. I am the beast when I drink this. What's up? Little, I'm just gonna go play today. I'm a little sore. I'm just gonna go have fun. Just get some time on my snowmobile and uh, man, I got so much work ahead of me between the snow bike, the snowmobile, and swapping parts and loading the trailer. Wrapping a single bill. So today's just about going through the motions and keeping healthy and having fun.
Woo! Oh, that was Good thing they give you two runs at the X Games, eh? That was a full pull on my run and uh, felt pretty good. I feel I know exactly what happened with the Corolla there at the end, but it's all good. And uh, yeah, I just gotta get into that trick a little sooner, I think. I kind of waited a long time on that one. But uh, just trying to go through the motions, man. I said that I was gonna come out and just have fun today, but that was definitely a work run. <laughs> It's all good. Wait, hey, how are you feeling about competing in both? Yeah, no, I know. I feel like, I don't know, just coming off the injury the first couple days, just riding into the, the foam pit and going from like low impact in a gym setting to high impact into a foam pit and no in between to break it in, it's just fucking sore. So I kind of. At the end of the day, like snow biking isn't my my uh, bread and butter. It's it's a little side winter hobby I kind of picked up while it's slow season. But moto is definitely something I love doing. So I think I'm just gonna step back on this side and just do. I kind of got an opportunity to do broadcasting for uh, for X Games. So that's the thing I'm gonna do is just let people know. Like a lot of people don't understand what goes into this. Like they see snow bikes. They see X Games, but like at the end of the day, snow bike best trick is not snow bikes. Snow bikes are a 120 kit, the 129 kit, you strap onto a dirt bike, a, uh, a 15 inch wide ski, and you go in the backcountry and you have fun with it in powder and all that. Snow bike free best trick is a 120 kit that we took with a hacksaw and we cut it down to 90 inches. Put super stiff suspension on it, have a 10 inch wide ski, and we put wheels in it with studs so it glides better. So you're now riding on ice with AstroTurf and a steel ramp. So pretty much everything you know about snow biking for this sport, you throw it out the window. It's, it's not, it's a completely different animal. So my goal with X Games is kind of bring that, bring notice, bring awareness to how different snow bike free snow bike best trick is and how different the snow bike kits are built and everything around them is so overall that's kind of like what my plan is my goal for this winter x games is just overall awareness you know we're training coming to an end i'm starting to feel pretty good about my combo game this year so cue the tape here Getting the old hot tub ready here. I haven't fired this girl up since summertime. I think uh, last day here at Camp H, I think uh, gotta fire up the old bum tub. Get her nice and hot. Get ready to make the 20 hour drive to Aspen. I need my, my sitting back as loose as possible. Who came up with this contraption? Where'd you get it from? Well, I came up with the contraption. We had to travel like three miles back in the mountain to go get the bitch out of the bush. Burn it, sand it, paint it, put a floor in it. And we used this thing every day for like a month and a half in the summertime. You don't need to spend 10 grand on a good hot tub. You just need a steel barrel and some fucking wood. <laughs> 